Good morning, friends. How are you doing? I'm going to get our morning song started while you find your large sleeve and your feelings check-in chart. How you feeling? You got your feelings check in. How are you feeling? Let me know. And you won't believe it, but we're into May already. The year is almost over. Oh my gosh. Can you tell me the day of the week, the weather, the date, and write it here? Then remember on the back side, you're writing your name. The letter is T and the number is 20. We're already at 20. We know all the numbers from one to 20 already. And I want you to try to write them and then send a picture to me because I know you can write them. We practice them every time we're in school. So I know you can do it. And our, we have the letter T is toe touches. Can you do five toe touches? Do five toe touches for me. And we're talking about gardening. And what is something that you can think of when we talk about gardening? What is there something that you can think of that when we talk about gardening? Let me know of that in, in Learning Genie too. Let me know. In our, whoops, I almost lost that. Where are my words? Oh, here's my vocab words. I'm losing my marbles. And we're gonna tell, we have um, a cool story. I changed it up a little bit. And I, I sent home last week, your feelings, my feelings book. You were to do two pages last week. And I need you to do two more pages this week. But if you've completed it already, that's fine too. But we're just doing two pages at a time. And then we're gonna talk about T is for tornado. We're gonna send home, it's in your packet, is a tornado, where is it? It's called tornado in a jar, bottled torn, a bottled tornado. Please practice and have fun with this. You need a clear plastic jar or a glass jar with a lid, some water, and some soap. Well, and then I want you to show me in your I'm Learning Genie if you've done this project. It's something fun to do. And has everybody practiced their tornado drill yet? I know the middle of April is when they have tornado awareness. And at school, we did practice tornado drills when we had it. Um, but I was just wondering if anybody has a plan for if there's a tornado in their home. Do they have you talked it over? What do you do? Um, do you go stand outside? Do you go take a bath? Do you go to the basement? What is your plan? Maybe discuss that with your family. Or if you want to let me know on Learning Genie, you can too. That's fine. And then Miss Jennifer is sending out, we'll send them a remind. The T is for teachers. Enjoy this. It's the PBS um, teachers and helper video. And then I'm sending home, gotta find it, the letter T. Ah, the letter T, it looks, it's just a piece of paper with your T on it. And I want you to create 
something. I don't care what it is that starts with a T and take a picture of it and let me know what you created. And yes, practice writing your name. Um, we all, I think we all know our name, our first name for sure. A lot of us know our last name and a few of my friends know how to write their middle name. So they know their first, middle and last. That's pretty good. But it's always good to keep working. Excuse me. Excuse me, working on them at home. And then there's this little tiny T-Rex cosmic yoga that I'm going to send in. Um, I'll send it on in Learning Genie for you to try. I know, tiny T-Rex. That's something pretty cool my friends are going to like, I think. And our vocab words are Weeds, a plant that grows wild in people's in places people don't want it to grow. I got a lot of weeds that grow in my garden. Ugh. Invisible, not able to be seen. Huh. So if I did this, took this off, it would be not able to be seen. That's invisible. Come on, read our story. It's a pretty cute one. It's called My Garden by Kevin... Hankies, 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 maybe. My mother has a garden. I'm her helper. I water, I weed, and I chase away the rabbits so that they don't eat all the lettuce. It's hard work and my mother's garden is very nice. But if I had a garden, there would be no weeds and the flowers would keep blooming and blooming and blooming and never die. In my garden, the flowers could change color just by, my, by me thinking about it. Pink, blue, green, purple, even patterns. Do we know what a pattern is? Do my friends remember what a pattern is? A pattern is maybe red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green, or it could be red, yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow. Those are patterns. If they were picked, if you, and if you picked a flower, another one would grow right back in its place. Here's her garden, and she picked them, but they came right back. Ha! Huh. That's pretty cool. In my garden, the rabbits wouldn't eat the lettuce because the rabbits would be chocolate, and I would eat them. Oh, my gosh. They might have been the little East chocolate Easter bunny you got for Easter. If I planted seashells, I'd grow seashells. Oh, so she planted them, and they grew. What do you think? If I planted jelly beans, I'd grow a great big jelly bean bush. Oh my gosh. Sometimes in my garden, good unusual things would just pop up. Buttons and umbrellas and rusty old keys. Oh, what? Let's see, here's some keys. In my garden, there would be birds and butterflies by the hundreds so that the air was humming with wings. The tomatoes would be as big as beach balls and the carrots would be invisible because I don't like carrots. Oh, ah, that makes sense what that would mean. Hmm, now I get it. At night, the morning glories would stay open, shining like stars, and the strawberries would glow like lanterns. Strawberries, yum. It's night now, only the fireflies and the porch lights are glowing. Before bed, I take one seashell from the shelf in my room and go to the garden. I poke the shell, seashell into the ground. Who knows what might happen? I cover it up with dirt 
and pat down the dirt with my foot. Oh, so she's pl planting the seashell to see what's gonna come up. Hmm, what are you doing? Asked my mother. Oh, nothing, I say, just working in the garden. Oh, that was a cute story. So she planted a lot of different things and they grew. Huh. Secret so question is, what color what changes color in the story? What changes colors in the story? I didn't find anything that changed colors, did you? Better yet. What what did she, hold on a minute, I gotta think here. What did she plant that turned into a bush of colorful beans, I'll say. What did she plant that turned into colorful beans? That's our secret question. Hmm. All right, friends, until next time, have a good day.